A lot of video gamers uh, can be kind of shut-ins and spend a lot of time at home playing video games, but a lot of times we get people to come out to a rock show that normally wouldn't, and they get to uh, mix with people uh, that they probably wouldn't hang out with a lot of the time, and I like, I like seeing that. I like seeing mix people come with, out. Mix with normals. <laughs> mix like with the normals. <laughs> I used to actually hold my Game Boy up to a recorder and uh, record <laughs> Kirby's Dream Land. Listen to it, like, go to the bus yeah, stop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I used to listen to it. I'm not scared to admit it. I think there's a huge nostalgia factor. I think that's why people really enjoy it because when we play something like Contra, you we know, grow up playing that since they were like five or six, they've had that music like drilled into their skulls. Anytime I tell anybody like what our band does, they always say, oh, you mean like Super Mario Brothers? Like, without fail, like at least 75% of the time that's what happens. So there are some bits of music that are so like that just everybody knows that's that's all part of it I think also there's a musicianship to it that uh, that people kind of you know can they can enjoy it more like a lot of times I feel like uh, even people who are completely unfamiliar with video game music they're like damn those guys can definitely play some guitar and like there's a lot of technical ability there so. and that cross genre stuff like with the proto men who aren't they're doing songs about video games but it's not video game covers uh, the crowd is still kind of the same, but they're, they're kind of like pushing it a little bit more forward. More so Dr. Wiley believed. For me personally, it's kind of a weird space to kind of be in because we're sort of just doing what we know, and some of these other guys we're involved with, like they're doing some other stuff, and like I kind of like to explore that, but I like where we're at. It's, it's good stuff. Do you ever fear that there will be a point where this is no longer culturally relevant, or people won't get it? Uh, definitely not. I already. Oh. <laughs> I just say the exact you're, opposite. You're going to say the exact opposite? It's definitely evolving to something that is much drastically different than the way video games used to be. Like, it's not a bad thing, it's just it's an evolution, you know? And it's one of those things that we 
kind of have to, to deal with in the long run. If you look at what's going on with video games right now, like with like for example, Super Mario Brothers on Wii just got released. A bunch of old music from a lot of the original games is in there, and a lot of companies are trying to like rehash some of their older properties from back in the day that are considered classics. The yeah, Wii, like the Wii is still the doing the the uh, the nostalgia factor. They're still cashing in on People Zelda and Mario, which is games. which is great.